Hi, it's Don Sanders, and I want to thank you all for turning out today. And I'm going to do the webinar, How to Sell the Billion Dollar Water Market. And one of the things that I think, and the reason I really want to do this webinar, is I think the bottled water market is the most misunderstood product line in this industry. And when we get finished here in this brief 30 minutes, I think you'll understand that. And a lot of people get so frustrated trying to sell bottled water because they just don't understand how to do it. And the reason they don't is there's so much misinformation. It's not that you're not trying, it's just you don't really know what to do. For those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Don Sanders. I've been a distributor for a long time, more than 30 years. During that time, I've sold a lot of promotional products, maybe $24 million worth. I should have, I've been doing it so long, but the thing that I was most profitable proud about is my profit margin has been more than 43%. So I actually sell promotional products to make money, not to spike people or beat people on price, et cetera, et cetera. I'm still a distributor. I don't sell the volume that I used to because today I run a sales training website called sellpromoproducts.com. That's one of the reasons that you're here. And I just want to thank you. And that's a little bit about me. And the statement that I'm going to make now is bottled water is the everybody product. That means every customer that you have is a prospect for bottled water. But the thing that you've got to remember is not to enter the water wars. And when I say water wars, that's trying to beat somebody on price. That's trying to get down and sell a product that's just not any good. And you're never going to sell this market if you enter the water wars. You've got to have education. You've got to stay out of phrase. And you've got to be able to do this where you can keep your sanity. Now, I brand my bottles with shoes. I'm going to talk to you about branding just a minute. I started wearing these colorful shoes several years ago at trade shows. And they were so popular, people asked me about them. I've got 13 different pair of them today. <clears throat> and I've branded my distributorship. Uh, you can see it up on the screen. You can see my card. What does your marketing say about you? Everybody I know wears colorful shoes. So I am going to encourage you to do a little branding as we go forward. Now, let's talk about when bottled water was invented. A lot of people don't understand because they don't think about it. But uh, cities and civilizations all had to be around a water source. They would not exist without water. And that's where they put themselves. And the bottled water industry comes from a long time ago, two, 3,000 years ago, when all civilizations and everybody was located next to a water source. And it went up, up, up. There used to be huge resorts all over the country. There are two, four, six, eight of them listed on the screen, Springs, Sarasota Springs, New York, Hot Springs, North Carolina, etc. 1890s up to about 1930, these resorts were huge because people wanted to be around water. They wanted to be around good quality water. A lot of water in the cities was foul. Uh, it ran through sewers, etc. So people that could get fresh water wanted it. And there were bathhouses, the drinking water was sold. There's a picture of Bathhouse Row at Hot Springs, Arkansas, which I've went to, I've been to, I've been up there several times. You just cannot believe how big that city was at one time and how involved it was over one different thing, and that was water. Now, I'm saying that water destroys paper, and the reason I'm saying that is I use bottled water as one of my self-promotion calling cards. I really don't have cards. I have products with my logo on it. Alexis Springs has done two types of bottles for me, a smaller bottle, the 12 ounce on the left, 16 ounce on the right. And when I make my sales calls, I give them to people, especially in Texas where I live. It is so hot here in the summertime. You show up to somebody to make a call on them. You give them a bottle of water. They're going to be a lot more happy to see that you than if you just pull out a little business card that says I sell a million things or I'm the cheapest around. And when we get finished here, or as we go along, I'll tell you how you can get some self-promotion samples. I have great luck with these and you need to have a product like this if you're gonna sell bottled water. Now, here's this guy on the screen. I think he's about the typical bottled water seller. But he said, how do I do it? He has so many questions. He does not know what to do. And a lot of y'all, I know, get frustrated when you lose sales on bottled water, people undercut you, et cetera, et cetera. You cannot be like this guy on the screen if you're going to be successful. 
And one way to be successful is to look at water as a quality product and not a commodity. A lot of these cheap water sellers, and there are a bunch of them around. I went to the PPAI Expo here in, uh, you know, last month, and there, there must have been 10 bottled water suppliers there, and a lot of them just didn't have anything to say besides the fact that they're a commodity product. You cannot sell water as a commodity if you're going to sell it successfully. So Alexa Springs bottled water is not a commodity. It is a quality product. And this is something you've got to understand whether you're selling bottled water or you're selling power banks or any other product in this industry. You can't sell items as commodities. You've got to sell them as quality items. Now, I want to talk to you about where water comes from, and I'm not making this up. Uh, Alexa Springs water comes from Mount Ida, Arkansas. I've been up there. It's about 40 miles uh, west of Hot Springs, Arkansas, up in the Washita Mountains. That's where their water comes from, where I would say 60% of the water suppliers this industry is get their water from municipal water sources. As gross as it might be, that's just from a water treatment plant. Sewer water is what it was at one time. It has been filtered out and it is clean enough to drink, but I do not want to be selling my customers what was sewer water. I would rather sell them spring water that is fresh. Now those little houses you're seeing there at the bottom on that picture at Mount Ida, those are spring houses. The water comes up through those houses, then it is piped into those big stainless steel tanks. Then it goes directly into the facility. The whole thing is in that town of Mount Ida. So your water is coming right out of that ground, coming into those tanks, into that building, and then it is bottled. So it is spring water. It is not city water. There's a big, big difference. And I'm just trying to stress on you, it's very, very important. At the bottom of the screen on the right is a skip a column uh, coupon that you can use if you when you place your next Alexis Springs order. Now, here's the difference between purified and spring water. There's a lot here to read. I'm not going to read it all to you. But these are basically the definitions of what purified water is. It says it's safe for consumption but it comes from tap water before it is filtered. And the main thing is it does not have a very good taste sometimes. Where spring water is natural, it comes out of the ground. The spring water that uh, Alexis Spring sells is there from Mount Ida. I've seen it come out of the ground. I've been up there, it's pretty interesting. That water comes up, it is then filtered, it is checked for impurities, and then it is bottled. It's from a natural source. It is not trucked around, it's not shipped on a rail car, it's not blown out of a water treatment plant. It comes out of the ground and is bottled within 500 feet of where it comes out of the ground. That is really kind of the difference between purified and spring water. Now here are quotes from four of the other water suppliers that I have uh, pulled these off of the web. These are what they say. They can't say they're natural spring water or quality water. They have to tell you up here in the orange. That question mark, I took the supplier out. It's been a leader in the bottled water since 97. They have a complete network of water facilities. They're not saying they have good water. They have water facilities. There's one that has to say product comes from municipal water source. Here's another one that's claim to fame is they're telling you about single pallet rates and how to have them delivered. And then in the blue with the red type, we strive to be the industry, be, let's see, to lead the industry in water sales because they offer the most complete collection of bottles. Well, they might have buy good bottles, but they don't have anything to say about the quality of their water. Now, this is something I did not know four years ago when I started helping Alexa Springs, but other water suppliers auction off your order. They don't make the bottle, they don't make the water, they don't make the label, they don't do the shipping. What they do when you place your order is they gang them up and everything goes to the highest bidder. They will have somebody bid on the bottles. Lowest price they get is who they'll use. They have somebody bid on what we're gonna fill it with, what kind of water we're gonna fill it with. They're not even gonna print the label. Somebody else is gonna print the label and obviously somebody else is gonna do the shipping. We have a network of bottle, bottling operations in the U.S. That right there makes that statement true because that supplier who made that statement is telling you 
that they have bottling operations. They don't own these, these facilities. They just sell your orders to the highest bidder. And Alexis Springs Water is not, or Alexis Springs, they're not an auctioneer. When you send them an order, they do everything the order takes to have it done. None of the orders that you give to Alexis Springs are sold to outside water sources. Now, I'm going to show you uh, what really how the Alexis Springs water is made. It's pretty interesting. We've seen the photo uh, already about the spring houses and the water goes into those tanks. But there at the bottom, those are the bottles are billing being filled on site. Those labels are printed by Alexis Springs on site. The labels are put on the bottle. The bottles are filled, labeled, and they go down the line. They're then packaged in 24 bottles per case. I took these photographs. I thought it was just a really interesting process. And then the pallets are ready for shipment. Everything done in that facility, not auctioned off. And Brian, Fitchner at Alexis Springs is happy to send you samples. There's his email, brian at alexissprings.com. Email him and he will send you samples or is happy to talk to you about anything pertaining to bottled water sales. Now, I've got a little picture on custom design labels. That's really important on your bottled water. You can put all kinds of things on this tracking information. When somebody comes in the store, you can ask them how they heard about the business, they might say, well, I, I read, a, I saw your label on your water. There's all kinds of ways you can post on social media sites using codes. And this is all off the labels that you put on bottled water to use as a tracking way to keep up with where your customers come from. Now you can add quality verbiage to custom labels. What you need to do is if you have a customer and you really want them to stand out and show they care about their customers, they might put natural spring water, clean, healthy, chemical free water, like the one there in the middle, then put their logo. These are just some examples. Alexis Springs is happy to help you do this. I'll pull this off their website. I think it's really neat to make these labels look like they're an old fashioned thing, which is good quality with the customer's logo on it. Now let's talk about who buys bottled water. Vehicle dealerships, car and truck dealers are one of the biggest buyers of bottled water because they use that for community outrage, outreach. They donate to schools, local, local booster club support. Dealerships are trying to get their word about their dealership out any way that they can. And one thing that bottled water is good for is good for business cards, just like I talked to you about my Don Sanders marketing bottles. Here's a salesman, Akeem. He has bottled water that is his business card. Now, which would you rather have the salesman do? Come out and give you his card in the lot, or would you rather have him come up and hand you a bottle of water? And that is his card. Any time of year, that's going to be welcomed, but in the warmer parts of the country, my goodness, that would be good almost all during the year. What a friendly, effective way to introduce yourself to someone. So when you're calling on car dealerships or RV, motorcycle dealers, I don't matter, it doesn't matter what transportation, talk to them about having their salespeople have their business cards be a bottle of water. Now let's talk about online sellers scaring you to death. A lot of people are going to say, oh, my customer bought water from an online seller and distributors, they just can't sleep at night. That poor man right there, look at him. Online buying can be risky. Sometimes online buying is not. But when you get into a situation where a customer is telling you, oh, I bought it online, I got it for this price, blah, blah, blah. Tell those clients the facts about what they have bought. Tell online buyers the truth. Is it the lowest price of the year? This tacky sign here with hundreds of deals, is that what they fell for? Because if they did, the labels on the water that they bought might be misprinted. The water might be bad tasting. The quantity might not be accurate. You got an event and you need so much, you don't want to be undersold because you're not going to have enough for your audience. They might miss the delivery date and usually their communication is poor. Place the order, you might ask some questions, and then you don't get your questions answered. These are all things that happen. 
in other promotional products. It doesn't matter about bottled water. When somebody buys something online, they're taking a risk. What I do is try and make my customers trust me so they purchase from me so they don't have to worry about risk with online buying. Now, let's look at this guy right here. This is a customer that I've had many times in my life. I'm just going to call him a stupid customer. I put this in yesterday because one of my other distributors that I helped said, Don, you know, some of these customers, they just don't care what kind of water it is. Well, some customers don't get it. They don't want to give their customers a quality product. They just want to give them some kind of piece of junk. That is not marketing, just to say, I don't care what I give my client. And these people that you deal with, just let them go. Just say, you know what? I don't think I can help you. You don't have to be rude about it, but I've done it 500 times in my life where somebody gives me flack about the price. I just look at them. Is there a bad customer? I don't let them waste my time and take away from my positive effort. So I'm just telling you, or I'm asking you, giving you permission. Sometimes your customers are just stupid and they just don't get it. Now, bottled water is a great gift for volunteers. They're a nice little thing to give to people when they sign up to be a volunteer. I've got volunteers that are younger over here on the left, and I've got some senior volunteers on the right. Bottled water is a product that any volunteer, no matter how old they are, would be happy and welcome to have. This is a beautiful label down here at the bottom for the Seattle Aquarium. That, that water is sold in that gift shop, but it is also used as a gift for volunteers just to say thank you. Now, a lot of y'all say, well, Don, what are you talking about volunteering? Why would I want to, you know, what's up with that? Well, I do a lot of volunteering myself to get new customers. I attend a lot of events and I've done a lot of volunteer work in my time in the industry. I do that to meet like-minded people. I went to TCU, so I love the Horned Frogs. I go to the Frog Club luncheon every week in football season. I go there to meet people. I can sell those people bottled water. I used to do volunteer work at the Dallas Can Academy, the Dallas Zoo, Dallas Historical Society, the Sixth Floor Museum. I've done volunteer work on political campaigns and networking, na neighborhood events. I do this to meet people that I can sell. And the thing that comes about this is volunteering will also get you in the door to call on these uh, organizations that have retail shops. I ended up doing the volunteer programs for the Dallas Zoo. I did the merchandising for the Sixth Floor Museum. That's where Oswald supposedly was the day that Kennedy was shot. And I did the gift shop merchandise, for the Dallas Historical Society, all because I was a volunteer. That's how I got my foot in the door. Now, banks, are a great prospect for bottled water because people get nervous when they go in a bank. If they're sitting there trying to come up with a loan or trying to negotiate a car loan or a car payment, if a bank hands you a bottle of water, you're gonna be very thankful and it's going to put you at ease. So for banks, I know everybody has a bank they bank at, just ask the branch manager if you can talk to them about bottled water after all you're banking there you're doing business with them why not ask them if you can do business back with them and alexis springs bottled water do, will give customers a positive impression of that location I'm not going to read these off to you but you can see four banks that i've chosen to put up here the one with the texas on it national bank and trust i think that's a really neat looking label and the thing I want you to look at that all four labels have in common, 100 natural spring water, 100% natural spring water. The countryside says natural spring water, Nation Bank and Trust, natural spring water, Colonial Federal Savings Bank, natural spring water does not say from a municipal water source, which I think more than 60% of the bottled water in this industry comes from. Hotels and resorts are big buyers of bottled water. If you've ever been to an event, they always have some type of water. It's a great gift to give to guests in swimming pools, hand a, a guest a bottle of uh, Alexis Springs bottled water at check-in. Leave them, uh, I, I see them in hotels all the time where uh, if you are on a priority floor, there's bottled water there with a hotel logo on it. And these higher end hotels, they are into buying really good quality water. 
Again, the Weston Stonebrier Resort here in North Dallas says natural spring water. It's a real selling point that they care about their customers. Golf clubs would be a great buyer for bottled water if you're playing golf tournaments out there. New members come on site that want to think about joining a country club. The country club business is kind of down these days in comparison to the way it used to be. And they need new members, they really do. And so giving somebody when they come in to talk about signing up for the golf uh, membership or a social membership, that's a great little gift. It's also good when they have parties or different events at country clubs because people love to get something and they like for people to care about them. Now let's talk about last minute rush orders being gold mines. I love rush orders the same way in the bottled water business. This is coming from the Amazon effect where everybody wants something today or tomorrow. It used to not be like this, but in the promotional products business, rush order business now is way, way up. And so I charge appropriately. I don't give my rush orders away. I don't feel guilty about charging people more. There are my little bottles on the screen again, but I love to sell bottled water for rush orders because Alexis Springs can deliver. They have seven shipping locations where the water comes from. They can meet your in-hands date. And when you sell it, get compensated for it. And I'm going to talk to you about wellness programs. 95% of companies plan to offer health improvement programs for their employees. Over $2 billion is going to be sold on wellness programs. A great wellness item or a great item to introduce wellness programs is bottled water, which you can put on the labels, the goal of the wellness program, or what the company is trying to accomplish. That moves us into bottled water for hospitals. People are really nervous when they go to the hospital. You talk about being dehydrated, you get nervous. A nice bottled water from Lexus Springs is a great way for the hospital to say thank you. And I know a lot of y'all have children and you know about orthodontics and how much braces cost. And I know how much getting my teeth cleaned. I went out to Great Bunny to get my teeth cleaned two weeks ago. They took an x-ray and cleaned my teeth. My gosh, it was like $195 or $200. And I thought, you know what? I've been giving you money for six, seven years. Every, when I made, no, maybe 10 years I've been going to that dentist. I said, why don't you buy some bottled water for me? I mean, they always give you a toothbrush and some little cheesy uh, toothpaste tube and a sucker, but I'm thirsty when I get my teeth cleaned. Why not, when you go take your children to the orthodontics and you're paying, get those braces tightened, ask that guy or woman to buy some bottled water for you. These people are taking your money, my same idea about the banks. You're banking with that bank, ask them if you can do business with them. Ask the orthodontist and ask your dentist to buy things from you. Now, a sad thing are funerals. But funeral homes are great buyers of bottled water. There's a Lord and Stephen funeral home uh, label that I'm showing you there. It's a caring gift because people are really dehydrated. When you go plan a funeral or if you're going to a funeral home to visit someone who's passed away, I went to a viewing two weeks ago at a funeral home. The first time I've been to a viewing in a long time, I was nervous going to see that person that had passed away, but I was more nervous about seeing her husband, who was a neighbor of mine, because I feel so bad for him. That funeral home had bottled water that they gave everybody. It was available on the table in the viewing room. What a good way to make people comfortable when they go to funerals, or they go to viewing, or they go to plan a funeral. Now the marijuana business is gonna be here someday. I just went to Las Vegas and went in one of these dispensaries, never had done it. It was clean as an Apple store. I chatted up the woman that I was in there talking to, and I said, well, do you, have y'all ever thought about buying anything with your name on it? She said, well, Don, you know, we might need some bottled water. Spring water is a great product for the marijuana cannabis business. It's coming. You get prepared for it. Now, there's another beautiful skip, a column pricing coupon from Alexis Springs. Home builders and mortgage companies, same pitch as banks. I'm nervous <coughs> when I buy a house. I'm nervous when I refinance my mortgage. Have someone call on these companies and say, put your clients at ease. So mortgage companies and home builders, great prospects. Label at the bottom, natural spring water on it, not from a municipal water source. Here's a special coupon I've got right now on pallet orders for uh, 
Alexis Springs, 55 cents a bottle on pallet locations. There's your seven shipping locations showing you United States, Oregon, California, Texas, Arkansas, Illinois, I think that's Pennsylvania and Florida. Again, Brian F. at alexasprings.com will help you with samples. Car wash and detail shops, they all have cup holders. I've got the Speedy B car wash and lube there. What a cool thing it is. When the car comes out of that car wash, that bottle is sitting in that cup holder. doesn't matter if it's trucks, it's RVs, but in car washes and when you go get your car detailed, that's a great product to leave in a car. Now, everyone uses a dry cleaner. I go to Faulkner's Cleaners up here. I took a bunch of sweat sweaters up there and they cleaned them. And I, I spent $65. So I just asked the young lady, I said, you know what? Y'all ever buy anything with your name on it? Dry cleaners are something everybody has. Chat your dry cleaner up when you go up there. All they can do is tell you no. Going to be hard for them to tell you no when you're giving them your money. Same way with your vet. Call on your vet when you go see them. I spent a fortune on my dogs. Start thinking about places that you go to spend money that need to buy from you. And I've got this statement here about this is a environmentally friendly uh, dry cleaner. They would need natural spring water so much more than filtered sewer water. Apartments, senior residential facilities and condominiums, same pitch. You go in to lease a place, you sit down, you're nervous. You got to negotiate the price, the lease. Great product to give to people when they're out looking for apartments. My ex-mother-in-law moved to Parkwood, which I had done some lens cleaning cloths for them. It's on there on the right. How wonderful that label would have been on bottled water for Parkwood. I could have put the photos of their property, like you're seeing with Parkwood wrapped around the label. That would have been a great item for them to give to senior residents. Now, I'm almost finished here. Please hang with me. A lot of people have asked me, will Alexis Springs make calls with me? Don't be nervous about asking for help. Back in the day when I sold a lot of things, reps came and made calls with me on my customers. They weren't trying to steal my customers. They were there to help you. So when you need help, Brian at alexisprings.com. You email him. He will get on the phone with you and your customer. He will introduce himself as a water person, this or that. They will never know that he works for Alexis Springs. He will help you close your sale. Brian is a really good salesman and he is very knowledgeable. Take advantage of this help. Don't be afraid. They're not trying to steal your customers. They're not selling direct to somebody that you sold. They are too honorable to do that. Now, I am so glad that you've listened to the webinar. I would love to help you more. There is my email address. There's a skip a column pricing for you on your Alexis Springs order. And remember, if you'll send me an email after this uh, webinar is over, I'm going to download the replay and I will send you the replay because I've talked as fast as I could trying to get this in on the allotted time. There is my email. There's my phone. If I can help you with anything promotional products oriented, give me a shout. If you've got a bottle of water question, send me an email about that. Or you can look at Alexis Springs website, which is alexisprings.com. I can't say enough good about that company. If you're going to sell water, sell it for a supplier who does everything. Remember, don't buy from a water supplier who's going to auction off your order. And I hope you have a great day. And thanks so much for listening.